Hello, and welcome to Bucket Time here at Zion Lutheran Church in Chelsea, Michigan. I'm Lay Minister Dale Eckhart, and the Bears of Zion and I are here to bring you some children's time. We're in getting ready for a vacation Bible school in a couple of weeks, so please check our website or our Facebook page to get more details about how you can sign up and come join us. So, what's in the bucket today? Well, today we have a bar of soap. Now, this is a brand new bar of soap. It's still in the wrapper, but I have to ask you, Bears, why do you think I, I might want to talk about a bar of soap in church? I, I, I took a shower before I came here. Well, washing, uh, which is what you do with soap, reminds me of a Bible story where Jesus was meeting with his disciples, was having a meal with his disciples for one of the very last times, and he did something very special to them. He went and washed part of their body. He went and washed their feet. Jesus, the teacher, became a servant and washed. Now, there were 12 disciples, and that's something I want you to think about. When you go in to wash your hands before uh, a meal. Let's say you've been playing and your mom or dad, it says, go wash your hands to get ready for to eat. And suppose after you washed your hands when you came out, uh, the parent said, no, I don't think you washed enough. You better go wash again. And that would take a little longer for you to wash your hands again. Well, Jesus, it, could you imagine for, what, for a moment, washing your hands 12 times in a row. That would take a long time. Well, Jesus went to wash his disciples' feet. That's what servants did in that day and in that society. When you were an honored guest, a servant might wash your feet. But Jesus didn't just wash one disciple's set of one disciple's feet. He washed all 12, one by one. It took a while, and the other disciples needed to sit and watch their teacher do this and wonder why their teacher did this and what it might mean. Jesus washed Peter's feet. Jesus washed John, James and John uh, and Thaddeus and, and Simon James the lesser and James the, the greater. Jesus even washed Judas's feet that night. He made himself into a servant. Well, what does that have to say to us? Well, Jesus makes himself a servant for us. Jesus came to the earth, died on the cross, rose again for us. Jesus makes us clean. Jesus takes divine soap and forgives our mistakes, forgives our screw-ups, forgives our sins, even though we don't deserve it, and washes us clean, not just once, not just for one person or two people, but every single person is washed and forgiven, one at a time, and Jesus never runs out of patience. So thank you, Jesus, for washing us, for offering us that chance of forgiveness, for that forgiveness we have even when our feet are really, really dirty. All right, let's have a little prayer. Dear God, thank you for the children watching these videos. Thank you for the parents and other grown-ups in their life who take care of them, who help keep them safe and ask them to wash their hands. Thank you, Jesus, for forgiving us, for washing our sins clean, and for loving us each and every day. Amen. All right. Let's bring our pause in. One, two, three. Go, Jesus! <laughs> 